So behind me is like a pretty standard Cambodian idol. It represents like ancestor worship. You can see the Chinese letter there. And uh, from what I can tell, those two uh, figures there, I think, represent ancestors. It's an interesting thing about uh, the syncretism in Cambodian religion is that they believe in Buddhism, but they kind of include local animism, um, aspects of Hinduism, which never really left because they're Hindu before they were Buddhist. And now especially um, Chinese ancestor worship, which is interesting because the Khmer Rouge persecuted the Chinese and the Vietnamese because they're considered foreign usurpers and they have acquired the capital of the native Cambodians, which economically speaking wasn't actually entirely wrong, doesn't mean go kill, and never, kill everybody. But that being said, it's in recent years, um, Chinese culture's had a resurgence of Cambodia. It's increased a lot in the last 10 years. I've been paying attention. It's the first time I visited Cambodia 10 years ago. And so you would not see a lot of this 10 years ago, and now it's ubiquitous. I'd like to say that uh, Cambodia is um, born again Chinese. They're not born again um, Christians. They're born again Chinese. They've um, found the inner Chinese in them. They look at their grandparents and go, oh, my grandfather knew how to use an abacus. So that means he must have been Chinese because the Chinese use abacuses. And so you'll see Chinese words in front of their houses. Um, now they'll have Chinese New Year's on TV. It's not as big as the Lunar New Year, though, because that's really the native Cambodian holiday. And then you'll, you'll see um, these sort of... Uh, house idols and you'd light incense in front of them and that's how you pay service also i don't know if it's still there you could put like food in front of it like uh, garlic i guess and i know like in the countryside they put bottles of water and stuff in front of them you can hear my son complaining in the background because we're obviously on vacation here um so i figured That'd be a fun little window into real-world Cambodia. We'd see a normal house. Um, I'll say this, though, um, being that my wife and I are Christians, that, you know, this isn't like you read in the saints' lives where you left and right and you just destroy the idols. Um, you won't make a lot of friends here. I'll, I'll leave that to the saints, too. Maybe not people like me. doesn't mean, like, you particularly like these things, but it's part of the reality. And you got to pick your battles. So here's, here's one of them. And uh, hopefully my son has happy, uh, has fun with the scooter there. So I'll leave it there. Have a good one. Have a good one, guys.